Hello and welcome to another chat. Back on December 7th, the commander of the Ukrainian Navy, Admiral Nishpapa, revealed the existence of a new type of drone used by the Ukrainian Navy. There was a video, quite dramatic. I can't embed it here, but I'll try to link to it. It's definitely worth checking out. Now, the drones are being used to attack platforms, gas platforms in the middle of the Northwest Black Sea. These are strategic assets. Both sides contest them. Essentially, they're the front line between Crimea, which is Russian occupied, and Odessa, which is the main naval base and merchant port of Ukraine. Both sides have been seizing, um, occupying, if you like, these platforms and putting sensors and or electronic warfare equipment on there. The most recent round, Russia has been installing electronic warfare, GPS jammers, surveillance equipment on those uh, platforms. I believe it is part of a planned escalation of attacks on Odessa with naval forces, probably involving new naval capabilities from the Russian side. So Ukraine's countering that with these new USVs, the new surface drones, may actually be a, a dent to that, that project. We'll see whether you Russia attacks in the way I expected them to. I am H.I. Sutton. I'm a defense analyst. I want to stress on this particular video that is based solely on public sources. That's open source intelligence, OSINT. Usual caveats apply. This is unscripted, unedited. Let's get on with it. So I was looking at the video and trying to figure out, is the USV one that we've seen before? Is it a new type? It was pretty obvious it was new, to be honest. Most of the clues and details are either blurred or, or not readily apparent, but there is one hint in the bottom left-hand corner that allows us to reconstruct the USV if we look at the, the video carefully enough. That small indicator tells us which way the camera is pointing when the video is being recorded. So at the moment it's pointing dead ahead, which tells you you're looking over the bow of the USV. In this way, I was able to basically figure out what the USV looks like all the way around. This is what the result. This is my provisional drawing. Caveats apply. I haven't seen a detailed photo of it. It's just pieced together from knowing how USVs work, what they look like, but also different hints in the video, different shots. The first thing that's interesting is not readily apparent, I think, and that is that this was revealed by the Ukrainian Navy. There are three forces on the Ukrainian side operating uncrewed service vessels. The Security Service, known as SBU, the Defense Intelligence Service, known as GUR, sometimes written as HUR, and the Navy. Now, we know the Navy operates USVs, but they haven't been showing them previously and certainly not showing them being used in an offensive manner. The SBU and the GUR, on the other hand, have shown loads of videos of their USVs attacking ships, ports, and so on. The videos you've seen of USV sinking Russian warships, that's from the SBU or the GUR. So the Navy's been quiet about its capabilities, and now it's revealed them it's actually a much more sophisticated USV than we've seen either the SBU or the GUR use so far. The first capability it brings that's unique, or certainly not seen before, is that it carries FPV drones. The left is still from the video where the drone is taking off, looking down at the boat it was launched from. That opening in the middle, the, the sort of clammed shell doors, that's where the hangar for the FPV drone is. And on the right is a drone's eye view of one of the uh, platforms as it's attacking. So essentially what we have is a drone that's carrying another drone. A lot of people will say they've predicted it. It's not that an original idea. But it is very rare to actually implement it. And they've implemented it with FPVs and solved a lot of problems that perhaps the people, certainly on the internet, who say, oh, this was obvious, hadn't perhaps thought of. Quite impressive. The drone itself, probably very similar to the ones being used on the front line in the war in Ukraine. So probably an FPV type. That means first person view, basically means the pilot is wearing a goggles. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be FPV. There are ways to control similar looking drones without the goggles, but nowadays goggles considered superior, almost certainly FPV. Now those drones were seen in the video being used to make strikes on the 
sensors, the electronic warfare equipment on the platforms. So they are much more accurate than the weapons we've previously seen USVs with. They also could attack the people on the platform. These are two Russians either installing or operating the equipment. I don't think they got away. So if we go back to the actual vessel itself, the USV, it's got a hanger in the middle with clamshell doors of some sort, approximately like this. This is a sketch. Haven't seen detailed photos, but at least four FPVs are launched from the center of the, each drone. Possibly more, you could stack them. Those FPVs can carry explosive charges and be used to stand off weapons themselves. I think also those FPV drones could be used to improve the self-defense of the USV. On the left, these are two stills from a UC baby USV, so a different type of, of vessel. And it's actually using a machine gun to engage, to defend itself against a boat on the left. Not very easy to see, but there's a rib there. And on the right, a helicopter, much easier to see, of course. How effective the machine gun is, open to debate. The FPVs could certainly be used the same way against a enemy boat and possibly more effectively. And they could attempt to engage a helicopter. How successful, available, better than nothing. Just out of interest, the Sea Baby also engaged a fast jet, a flanker. Don't think it would hit anything. I don't think the FPVs are at all suitable for that. Maybe if you get lucky, they'll get ingested by the jet engine. That's about all you can hope for. But at least the FPVs give you a degree of defense against enemy boats that might try to stop you and something to at least say go away to helicopters and you, can, you might get lucky. But I think there's actually a much more powerful use of these FPVs, which might not be apparent from the, from the videos. When they're launched, they drastically improve the situational awareness of the drone operating team that has the USV and the FPVs. This only applies when they're in the air, which is probably very short range, short endurance, but they basically give you an eye in the sky that allows you to look at the target from different angles, understand where the defenses are and optimize your attack. It could also distract defenders and so on. I think the situational awareness is actually a bigger deal than the warheads on the drones, although they're certainly useful. In this two stills, the left is before an explosion, the right has an explosion. It's infrared, so it just seen a cloud there, the yellow arrow is pointing to it. The USV also has the traditional, if you like, pretty new, I know, but, but what we'd now consider traditional or established way of attacking enemies, which is to ram them and have an explosive in the bow. We can tell that because of these three objects on the bow. They are going to be impact fuses. Also on the left, you've also got a dolphin there swimming with the USV, pretty cool in itself. So this is what I think they look like. This is on a GUR Magura V5 drone. Naval News did a really good video on it. You can see them very clearly, the, the impact fuses. Basically all Ukrainian USVs that have an explosive charge in them now have three impact fuses like this on the bow. That's the main way at least. So stepping back, we, as well as having the hangar for FPV drones, we've also got an explosive charge in the bow. How big it is, we don't know, probably 150 kg. That's approximately typical of USVs. But it gives the USV the traditional way of attacking and maybe damaging and sinking an enemy ship by ruining it. This USV has something hidden away, which is even more powerful. In some of the parts of the video, we can see that the USV is reversing up to the target, which is a gas platform. And you can, if you look in the bottom left, you can see the camera there. So it's pointing over the stern, over the back of the boat. We know the boat is reversing. So not only is this USV capable of reversing, but it suggests it's actually doing something. There's why would you reverse? Well, if you look at the USV from another angle, when the FPV drones are taking off, they look down and they show you that there is a hangar door opening of the USV. It looks like a door that sort of hinges upwards. Why would you have that? The obvious answer is for dropping things out the back of the USV. 
And the obvious thing to drop out is an explosive charge. Against a gas platform, that could be a delayed action, time delayed or depth delayed action warhead that detonates as it sinks next to the target and inflicts a much more serious damage than if you just hit the, the target above water. It might also be command detonated. Either way, the USV is pointing away from the target so it can just accelerate away and get a safe distance before the detonation occurs. Now, this wouldn't be very useful against a ship unless it's an undefended ship, but it has another capability that comes with it. This is really good for mine laying. And so the, the USV could be let, used to deploy mines discreetly that months or even years later, an enemy ship will sail over and likely be sunk. Mines are generally much more dangerous than the room in the front of the USV. So what does this all mean? This new type of USV, as opposed to sort of single angle of attack, which we've seen so far, this has a multi-pronged attack. It has better situational awareness, at least while the US, the UAV, so the FPV drones, are in the app. And it can be reusable, provided you don't use the RAM warhead, you don't sacrifice yourself by rallying someone, and provided you have the range. Obviously, to be reusable to, to come back home, you have to have only part of combat radius as if you're just going one way. But all this makes the draw the USV much more uh, versatile and more potent, really. The trade-off, of course, is it is slowly getting larger, more complex, and I'm certain more expensive than the other USVs that we're seeing. So there is a little bit of a trade-off, but it's still a cheap asymmetric weapon. And it's really interesting how these things are evolving so fast. Thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, the usual stuff. Take care.